Hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial on um, creating a user login and register system. Um, this is just a very basic system. It only allows you to register and uh, log in. It doesn't have very many files, just log in, log out, register. And it has a very primitive user page, um, one that just says welcome to the user. It doesn't have any support for editing details or containing user information or um, things like that. Although the system is very basic, it works, it's fully functioning and it is secure. Um, it's made up of three functions, uh, just three backend functions, one for the logging in and two for registering. Um, it only has a single MySQL table um, to contain the user information. It, there's seven total files, so the four you see here, which are the four front end, and then there we have our init file and our two function or our library files. Um, but I'll go through that more in the next part when I explain file structure. Um, now the whole focus of this tutorial, on top of creating a login system, um, is to help you apply basic concept concepts more abstractly. Um, all of the concepts that are used in this, they're all fairly basic. There's no um, large MySQL queries. There's no uh, totally bizarre functions. Nothing that um, beginner people can't grasp. Um, but it can become very powerful, and the whole focus of this is to allow you to um, apply these basic functions in a way that will allow your scripts to be uh, much more powerful. Uh, on top of that, it's going to be the first tutorial that I do, I believe, that um, will require that actually uses MySQL. So um, we're going to be focusing on some security uh, to prevent um, injection, and also just as a way for the user to interact with you. So just to get a sense of um, people or the user interaction side of things, so the security side of things, but also just um, having to uh, make things fluent and fluid for your users. Um, as of now, it's looking to be about seven parts in this one. I'm just giving you the background of everything and I'll demonstrate the system in just a moment. Uh, the next one will be going over the file structure and database, and then the functions and the backend files will be done in hopefully I can get it done in a single part but if it's dragging out too long I'll go to two parts with it and then we just have our register our login pages to do and our logout pages so um, yeah it's looking to be about six parts in the actual coding hopefully I can cut it down to five but we shall see anyways without further ado we shall demonstrate our system so as you can see here we have our um, our files here so first I'm going to, this, this user page is the um, page that they see once they've logged in. The register page is obviously your register. Logout is the page that it's directed to to cancel a session and login is the login page. So right now we'll click on the login page and we get to here. So you can see up here we can have the choice to click on the register link or you can use the login. Um, the good thing about this system is it has a remember me function so uh, it sets a cookie that will remember the user for um, however long it's set something like 20 years so it'll essentially be remembering forever um, but yeah so first we're gonna go to register um, now for the username just as a test um, we're just gonna have well I already have a username registered and I used test so to show you the checks that are done I'll first use test with uh, the passwords of test and test so if we register you can see that the username is already new so we check to make sure that there will be no duplicate usernames in this um, in this tutorial so we'll change that up to username and then we'll enter test and test one as the password um, the passwords don't match, so we'll try one last time and we'll go username 
with test and test. You can click register, you see we're brought back to the login page. Um, we'll log in with username and test, and we'll just click login. You can see welcome username, um, which would be different if your username was different, and the ability to log out. Um, since this is, I didn't click the remember me, it's just in a basic session right now, so um, assuming I were to close my browser and come back to it, I'm not going to demonstrate that, I will once we actually code it in. Um, but assuming that, then I would be, I'd come back logged out. But um, just another thing to show is, since we're logged in, you don't want your users to have access to your login page. So if we go back to this login page, you can see we get redirected here. Same thing if we go to register, we get redirected here. Um, if we click log out, it is likewise in saying that going to the user.php page brings us back to here. So it is secure in the fact that it doesn't allow users to be where they should not be. Um, but that is the basics of the uh, system. I can log in with my test and I'll click remember me this time. Um, we'll click log in and see we're logged in as test. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of the situation. Please join me in the next part where we will start coding or where I'll go over the file structure and um, explain the database to you. Thanks for watching.